the truth is a river, the river called love, and it flows to forgiveness. Say it again, the truth is a river, the river called You may have noticed that the last few advertisements were not those of the Beatles. That is because they were advertisements for a band called The Righteous Kind. This band is unique not only as it is greatly influenced by the Beatles, but also because the lead singer and guitarist is none other than Dr. Charles Mon, a chemistry professor here at the University of Florida. And that's the, truth. the Righteous Kind share several similarities with the Beatles, not only in their style of music, but also in their overall approach. The Beatles wrote lyrics about controversial subjects and general topics in the struggle of everyday life. The Righteous Kind follow in these footsteps with their newest album, Wild Hibiscus. Some of the songs contained within the album speak of things such as politics and love, while others, just like the Beatles, just have a good rhythm to rock out to. Okay, how do I get interested in music? Well, music is fundamentally inside of me, and it is in many people in my family. I come from a line of musicians. My mother and grandmother were both classically trained pianists, and my other grandmother played uh, hillbilly guitar. And, uh, and so, you know, music has always been there for me. One very heavy influence is the Beatles, and, and you know, for better or worse, um, the Beatles, it, it, you know, remains one of the most popular and downloaded acts. I know for many people it's hard to do more than one thing at once, so how do you balance being a scientist and being in your band? Well, the simple answer is I work constantly. There isn't there isn't, you know, just like this interaction I have with my secretary, there isn't any moment of any day between the hours of basically 9 in the morning to 11 at night when something in my life isn't scheduled. And so this is how I do it. I work constantly. I work every day, all day long. I have a music business and I have a science business. And between those two, I work without exaggeration. 60, 70, 80 hours a week. It's hairy when the wind starts to swell and so something blowing in. Great big branch is swinging to the throat. Just as he must prepare and review before he goes to teach lecture, Dr. Martin, aka Superman, must also prepare before he performs his music. This consists of not only rehearsing, but also setting up all of his musical equipment. Nothing quite like the feeling of making rock and roll. 
<laughs> you get up on that stage and you make live rock and roll music and there's nothing like that. Especially when you can get other people to play it for you on television. Right. Yeah. Oh, wow. And you got into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and didn't play it. We now watch as Dr. Martin explains the process of titration to his students. Titrant consumes the analyte. Now, so as we said last time, start off at some really low pH, pH one, since it's tenth molar hydronium ion, and you let this, and you start titrating. Here's your reaction. It's fun. I know many of you are my students, right? <laughs> So I'm going to tell you a question that's going to be on exam two for sure. What are the two branches of analytical chemistry? What is the answer, class? Qualitative and quantitative analysis, exactly. Many of you that came to my show last night, I want to thank you for that. students dig my music. I think my students go crazy for my music. I think the students sit there in their dorm rooms at night with a wild hibiscus CD, the wild wild hibiscus CD, listening to it all night, discussing the meaning of the lyrics. Angie, and she is in one of Dr. Martin's classes, and I'm going to be asking her her opinion on Dr. Martin's band, The Righteous Kind. So Angie, what do you think? I've been to a couple of Dr. Martin's shows, and The Righteous Kind is a great band. They have a lot of fun, they're great performers, they have a lot of stylistic characteristics of the Beatles, and it's really enjoyable um, to watch them, and it shows students that he has a musical talent outside of his research. As we have now seen, Dr. Martin truly is a superman as he is not only a brilliant professor, but also a superb musician. Let's let 